This is a Vauxhall Astra 2 litre CDTI. It's the EcoFlex version, 16 valves, and um, it's the uh, Elite 5 door with start stop. Uh, fuel economy urban 50.4, extra urban 68.9, and combined 61.4. So, very economical car. 163 brake horsepower. Um, let me see. No 0 to 60 on this time, so uh, I'll just take you for a ride in it. It's uh, also a 2011 61 Reg with 74,348 miles on the clock. Oh, black sapphire metallic. I always forget to have a look at the proper name of the colour before I go, so here we go. Uh, let's see, just uh, do this before I go. So height and reach adjustable steering wheel as well. There we go. Multifunction steering wheel. Electric handbrake. Um, we'll just go for a ride. Got heated seats as well. Auto air con. Full leather. The uh, sports seats at the front, which have the thigh support, which will pull out behind your back of your legs. Very good looking car these, and uh, nicely finished off with everything you could possibly want inside. Cruise control. Um, you've got the audio buttons on the right hand side of the steering wheel. sure whether it's got power windows I'm uh, sorry power door mirrors yes it has a six-speed gearbox that's uh, Pretty low gearing, 30 miles an hour, tick over speeds really. Front fogs, chrome grill. I think it's got the chrome window surrounds as well, this one. Nice kind of shadow effect, aluminium trim round the um, radio and air conditioning controls also you've got the same trim here on the door handles and round the vents so lovely inside cup holder there another oddments tray stroke probably another couple of cups front centre armrest with uh, a little bit of space inside for your uh, glasses and stuff These cars do drive very nice. Very slick gearbox. Just hopefully time it right here. No, we, we haven't just timed it right. A load of traffic. Get a decent run up here. There we go. Talky engine. It's uh, obligatory fuel level low warning coming on there. But the good thing with these is there's usually at least 50 miles 
left in the tank even when the light starts flashing don't take my word for it always best filling up crikey thought he was going to run into the side of me then Great driving position, seats are really comfortable. All the instruments are nice and clear. Rev counter on the left there, and it even tells you when it's gone into auto stop. Um, speedo on the right. Temperature gauge and fuel gauge in the center. Sporty feel to the handling, but not too hard a ride. Just going a touch too fast there. control there easily operated with just your thumb first of all switch on which is the left switch there on the left hand side of the steering column and then a little thumb wheel that you pull down to set and then you can regulate your speed by clicking the lever up to add a couple of miles an hour or down to do the same we're doing Now dead on 70, around about 1900 revs. display in the centre there menu button on the indicator stalk and then again you can just scroll through all the various um, settings and then set and clear with the button in the end so 70 miles an hour on the motorway really quiet really smooth no rattles or knocks or whines. Lovely car to drive. As I've probably mentioned before.
the, the the trip information menu, average vehicle speed, instantaneous fuel consumption, average fuel consumption, which is showing here at 56.9. Um, now that, that's pretty good. It's probably been sat ticking over in the garage as well, which will have reduced it considerably because um, while Lance is cleaning them, uh, he, he often has the engine running. So um, you can imagine you'd probably get 60 plus miles to the gallon average out of this car. And fuel range, again, the light came on, but it's actually showing we've got 53 miles left in the tank. All great things these, and would have saved me many hours walking to fuel stations with a can running out in the old days when you thought you could just make it but couldn't. Very nice handling around the roundabout. was he yesterday when that Corsa was weaving all over the road? as well it's got um, kind of a grey contrasting stitch which looks, finishes the, the leather off really nice you've got everything pretty much to hand the lights are on the right hand side here and you've got the auto setting so you don't even have to worry about switching your headlights on anymore Wipers on the right there, rear wash wipe, got a split folding rear seat and a rear load cover. Also a centre armrest I think. socket here auxiliary in there there's another power socket just here which I've actually got me iPhone plugged into remaining oil life which at the moment is 19 percent
really nice coming around that uh, the motorway roundabout at the end there. One steering input, no understeer, no oversteer. Whereas Patrick in front there was uh, understeering off the off the road in his uh, wobbly old Nissan Duke. <laughs> 